What's going on guys, Chris back with you with another unboxing and review video. This one's gonna be for Newly. Newly has come out with a lot of products recently and we have been testing them. We did their smart bulbs. We're working on another outdoor camera one as well. It might already be posted on the channel as well. This one is gonna be the Newly Cam 360. And what they're marketing it for, they're marketing it for your nursery, they're marketing it for pets. Keep an eye on your house while you are away. This is a Wi-Fi camera. We will show you all the connections. We'll take you through the ropes. We'll show you the app. And just like all of my unboxing and review videos in the description box below the video, you're gonna find a link for this exact same product. So after the video is done, you can pick one up yourself or read more about it. This is a full 1080p camera. It does have two-way audio, which is fantastic. It does have night vision and it does have pan and tilt, which means that you can motorize control it via the app. And it has motion detection and you can monitor and store the video with a micro SD card or on the cloud as well. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get this out of the box. Let's go ahead and see what we have and take it through the test rack. All right, let's get the trusty butterfly knife out and open it on up. All right, right on the top here, you have your little welcome information and then you have your little packet here, which will tell you what app to download. And it also has some stickers there as well. And what it looks like is the app is the Newly Cam app, which is the same app as their outdoor camera as well, which is really nice. You can go ahead and monitor your cameras on the same app. All right, next up in our little box here, we're gonna have the camera. I believe we do have some mounting hardware down at the very bottom as well which is right here. Let's go ahead and take a look at that real quickly before we do move on. Okay, in the small bag, number one is gonna be our screws and drywall stucco hooks uh, for mounting purposes there. Next up is gonna be our power cable cord, which is USB to micro USB. Let me get you a cord length on that. And that tip to tip is about four feet or so guesstimation. They give you a wall adapter to be able to power that. So obviously USB, just like your cell phone goes into the wall adapter here. And the power is five volt, one amp. If they do sell the same camera in the UK, I will have you guys linked as well. And they of course will have the provided right plug for you. Next up is gonna be your bracket for mounting the camera to the wall there. And lastly, of course, will be our camera. All right, guys, it's actually a very nice camera. It's not too big, not too bulky. Won't take up a crazy amount of room on whatever countertop or whatever wall you do mount it on. The exact dimensions and weight will be in that link in the description box right below the video. You do have your microphone input here. We have our speaker here for two-way audio. Coming around the back is going to be our power right here, that's the micro USB slot there. Little LED indicator light right there. A newly logo on the back there. And coming around to the top here. And I won't show this part right here, but underneath is your QR code that you will scan the app on your phone and that will link the camera and the app together. This of course will pan and tilt. I will go ahead and show you guys examples here in just a little bit. All right guys, let's go ahead and take a look at the app here. So I have the camera right over my shoulder right here and the delay is actually barely at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and raise my hand in three, two, one, raising. So that's literally what, not even half a second, one, two, three, raising. I mean, that's very, very, if at all, very slightly, but not much at all. Finger up in one, two, three, pointy finger, thumb, pointy finger, thumb. So very nice. Okay, so as you can see here, it is in the office. I'm obviously on my phone. The camera again is just over my right shoulder. And so let me go ahead and jump out of the way real quickly so you can see the span of the wide angle lens. So right over here, I'm on camera. And again, you can tilt Pan actually showed up with a motion detection. I have it on um, the lowest setting and it does pick it up every time I get up from the chair or I move by around this area. If you have it on a higher sensitivity, then you would get more motion from over in this area over here, etc. I don't know exactly how this is gonna work out, but let's try it. Let me go ahead and unmute this real quick. Hello. 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 I'm not sure if that can sure pick, up that that pick up that or not. Hello? Hello? Let's try this. I am using an external microphone, so let me see here real quick. Hey. Hey. What's going on? What's going on? Hey, what's going on? Hey, what's going on? 
doing screen capture, it messes up with the whole two-way audio thing. But anyway, two-way audio, listen in. I've already tried it, experimented with it off camera. You can do a snapshot right there if anything is happening in your house or you can start videoing. And as you can see right there, it's videoing now. And once you stop, it'll say just up there in the top there, video saved to photos. And that should be in your camera roll. And just confirm that is in my Samsung phone's camera roll here. Now in the top right here, let's go ahead and push on this. And this is all your settings here. You can remove the camera, camera sharing. If you wanna share that with others with the app, pop in your SD card. You can subscribe to their cloud service. You can do sound detection, which I have off right now. And then motion detection here, I have low sensitivity again, and it's on a scheduled timer. And that is 24 hours a day, seven days a week. You can go ahead and mess around with those settings there. You can rotate the image if you have it mounted in a different area. Motion tracking, night visions on auto, status light. Now, when I unclick that, there's a small light on the front of the camera. And when I click that off, that status light goes off if you don't want that LED light. And then if you hit it again, that very faint white LED light goes back on. Audio recording, I have that hooked up right there, and that is all the settings. Now going to the main menu in the front portion of the app is home, and this is all the motion detection that it has picked up. Let's see if we can play here. Okay, because I don't have an SD card in there right now, I can't play it because it would record the SD card and then you could pick up that motion detection and replay it, or you could subscribe to their cloud service again. All right guys, so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna show you the pan and tilt feature. Now obviously, it's just gonna show more of the desk area, but all you do is you just go ahead and use your finger on the app, and then you start going over, over, and again, it's just a wall right there, but you guys get the idea. Let's go ahead and go left now, and you just continue to swipe, and the motor is actually very silent, where if you are really, really close, you could hear a motor, but let's say that it is up in an area of your home and an intruder was there. I don't think an intruder, unless the house was completely silent and he's sitting a couple feet away, I don't think he could hear the motor uh, going. Uh, there is the edge of the bookshelf, because this, remember, again, is on a bookshelf. And let's go ahead and show you a little bit. It's going to be a little boring, but let's go ahead and show you the roof here. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, we go uh, from up to down, and it will go up and show the roof. And there's just slight lag time on that as well as you're doing that, but not bad at all. Again, check that out. And then, of course, it will go down. I think we had it actually down the most... Let's see if we can go up even more. Yep, we sure can. And so you guys see the pan and tilt. And yes, we actually did have it on the lowest setting already. So obviously if you had that mounted, you'd be able to have a little bit better of an area going the other direction if you needed to view it in that direction. Again, the window is a little bit washed out, but you can still see my patio table out of the door there. The sun is kind of coming up in that area right there. But overall, very crisp. I really like it. And next, we'll go ahead and test night vision. All right, folks, we are now in nighttime. So let's go ahead and kick off these lights and let's go ahead and look at night vision. All right, as we can see there, it's clicking into night vision mode. Very nice. Just make sure the camera is, see how the edge of the bookshelf is just to the lip, to the left of your, your screen there? So just make sure that there's no objects right out in front of it that might be blocking the night vision. Look at all the way to the doors here. I'm gonna come around the corner here in just a second. It's just really dark, so <laughs> I can't really see. As I'm stumbling into items in my thing, I'm gonna come around the edge. <laughs> I'm seriously stumbling. All right, hold on one second. Wow, that looks great. Look at that. Look at that. Okay, there I am there. Very nice. That's great night vision. Look at my fireplace uh, down over here in the uh, bottom right corner. My doors there. You can see the fan lights right above me here. Let's go ahead and carefully come over here. And so here I am here. You can make out uh, I'm wearing a sweatshirt. You can see that I have a beard, my hair. You can tell I'm holding a cell phone. <laughs> Very nice, look at, you can see my little caricatures on my desk, you can see Spider-Man right here. My computer speakers, that's great night vision, guys. 
The uh, picture on the wall, where is it? That way over there, my bed frame, you can see poking out there with the side light. Now let's see what happens when I get a little bit closer to you. Your eyes will be like a cat's eyes and then boom, because it's on very low uh, sensitivity, then my newly cam motion detection there. Hey, how about that? I'll tell you what, I'm looking a little scraggly, looking a little scraggly. I need to take a little, little razor there, huh? Look at my hair, looking real good. All right, let's go ahead and back that up just a tiny bit. All right, check me out way over here. Looking really good, folks. Well, guys, thank you so much for watching the video. Again, in the description box below is gonna be this exact same camera. You can pick one up yourself, read more about it. Anything I missed in the video, check it out. Hit that thumbs up button if you've appreciated the video. And just like all my product review videos, guys, please don't go into debt to purchase anything I review. If you have the money, if it interests you, then go ahead and purchase on away. Also, subscribe on your way out. My name is Chris. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye for now. Don't let the party stop, guys. Hit one of these videos, continue to watch, and we'll see you soon.